there's a common theme which is right below the surface who we are. And I'm going to get a little emotional about it because I'm right there with you. And sometimes I'm, I'm awesome. And then other moments, I'm a puddle. And today's okay to be all of that. It's sort of like, remember the Wonder Twin Powers? Wonder Twin Power in the form of, you know, turn that puddle into something else. And yes. so today we're going to turn it into other things and use that. And so if the tears come, this was a bit of humor for you all. <laughs> we have tied together tissues. They are Puffs Plus, so we're high quality. <laughs> Uh, if the tears come, in my opinion, it makes room and space for more stuff and more good and more growing. And so go for it. Leave, leave it all here. We're ready to roll. The Japanese people of the Moromachi period in the 13th century who developed this process of reconstructing um, broken pottery. Kin means golden and sugi means rejoining. It's a practice of restoration, transformation, and a celebration of beauty and brokenness and imperfection. is broken and so that is I you know no one's gonna do the work for me I'm gonna have to you know do it myself and then um, I am the one who resurfaces what is lost so if there is something that I want back I'm gonna go and get it So, I first wrote down, um, back together, but not quite the same. So, my bowl was a bowl, and now it's no longer a bowl, but it's back together. I painted it uh, with colors of my happy place, Turks and Caicos, for the water, where I love to go scuba diving. And then, as far as using some of the words as a description from the bowl, I am the one who took the leap and kept going, and crashed to the ground, but came back together into something new where anything is possible. How just the process of putting that together from full was like exactly just how my mind works. But then it almost feels like I'm doing something wrong. I'm still sad for the bowl because it's not nice and soft like it used to be. But yes, the gold and purple makes me really happy though. There's hope, there's treatment, there's cure, and I can move forward and not let this take over my whole life. Well, I mean, I think even the cracks that are in the inside and on the outside, I think we all have a new understanding and it's the wisdom of survivorship. Um, there is trauma wisdom and we all have that now, and we understand that all these bowls have these cracks and will eventually have them if they're used. If they sat in a drawer and they lived a life where no one touched them, fine. But we all live with other people, and we allow them to touch us and to feel us and to lift us up and to frustrate us and hurt us and all of those things. So 
Um, I, I think you don't necessarily have to do this experiment and this exercise differently from five years ago. Maybe the reason it's very similar to the way that you would have done it is because of your fortitude and your strength as a person to be resilient, to return to the girl that you've always been. You, and that's a remarkable person. Definitely. You're really I mean, now I understand why I was doing the things I was doing that I wouldn't have understood in the years. But that's a lot. That's great. That's yeah. huge. But I have no idea how to make it better or move beyond that. Uh, you showed up today, so yes, you do. And you drove yourself alone in the car. So you're starting there. And you're at least open to the possibilities that there are other ways to do things. And you're picking up pieces along the way. <laughs>